Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're all doing well. It is 9 10 p.m. April 20th, 2024. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. We're going to do some, this is the first time, World of Warcraft roleplay. Now, I have speaked or spoke briefly about Warcraft roleplay and some of the trepidations that I had with it. And I'll go over that again before we actually get into this stream uh, because we're going to do a little bit of reading here in a second. Um, so one of my main concerns with roleplaying on World of Warcraft is that coming from 5M, uh, we don't really use our voice, right? And, you know, typing on stream doesn't seem like a great idea. It's going to happen, but it doesn't sound like a great idea for, like, you know, roleplay, right? So, um, here's what's going to happen. So, um, today is a, a, a leveling stream of my rogue, but it's also a roleplay stream. Now, I'm not going to be roleplaying the whole time. I have a scene set up, and I'm just waiting for my guild leader to... Get over here, not Valdurin. I, I joined another guild. I'll get into it uh, in a second. But, but uh, I will be reading everything aloud so you can hear it in my, my voice so it's a little bit of a better, better experience. Now, um, how this roleplay started was very, like, I, I just saw someone doing something cool and I decided uh, that I needed help with something. And it was really cool. So let me let me explain it. So there's a guild called the Scarlet Crusade. Uh, and this guild's a roleplay guild. And they're basically roleplaying as if they are the, the structure of the Scarlet Crusade themselves, right? Or at least a, a side from the cru Crusaders currently in, like, the a a SM Cathedral and Library and all that. Like, those are corrupted heretics or whatever. But, um... But yeah, there is like this kind of like thing that I don't really understand yet, but we'll we'll go into it later. Uh, but how this all happened was I was I was around level twenty six, I think, and I saw a guild. And I've seen these guys a few times advertising in Stormwind, right? And they're in Stormwind, and they are um, they they are sitting on some boxes, and they are saying like brothers in light, and like you know, um, there, there's something corrupted in Stormwind and all this cool stuff, which is actually attached to the lore of Warcraft, right? And as a huge lore nerd myself, I could not go into this. So we came up with a character on kind of the spot. Uh, I threw it a line that when I asked to join their guild, because I, I was really joining it to see if I had anything to match my Defias, uh, mask. A tab bird specifically. But, um, I got recruited, like, right in the middle of Stormwind. And, um, like, yeah, I knelt and I was blessed by the, uh, the High Lord himself. And we joined the guild. And they have notified me on a bit more stuff. So, um,. Thankfully, you can kind of have out-of-character chats via, like, Whisper or putting stuff in brackets um, and, like, in the middle of roleplay, which keeps everything fair and nice and something I kind of wish that we had in 5M in a way, you know? Really miss the OOC chat. Now, mind you, my 5M stuff is skewed, so keep that in mind. But um, we... Um, I got recruited, and then I decided that since I was, you know... Focusing on a quest, uh, a quest that requires me to kill, like, two level 31s in Stormwind, that I was going to do something a little cool. Do something a little cool. And, uh, I said, within the story, within the story of the game, that I needed help infiltrating the castle because I believed, my character believed, that, um... That two nobles were, or a noble, uh, specifically a lord, was corrupted. So, uh, after this, I actually, uh, and this is this is after that roleplay scene, and I got props on that, which was nice. 
Uh, but after this, I worked on something a little different. Let's go ahead, tune into the uh, video game. So, uh, I want to have like a role play thing real quick. Role play. All right. Uh, does the game want to show up? There we go. Nice. Uh, so I'm going to make this everything other than guild. So emotes. Uh, part, party chat I'll keep out as well. Nah, that might be useful. And I want to be whispered. this and do that i think that's it right okay anyway uh so let me tell you where this story begins so um the uh before well, i guess i should mention this uh i was told about an add-on uh called um total rp3 right there now you can see i'm mousing over myself what the fuck is all this this is what total rp does so you can see i am actively scouting and re I'm reporting information to the leaders of the alliance and the crusade just a scout a scout archetype now if we go ahead and click on my character you can see this is this is a this is like a um this is like a role play tool where it's like, oh, this is like, what do they see at a glance kind of thing? And I love this. I love this so much. So looking at the character, Zoth, the person we've seen in the thumbnail, Zoth Stonebridge, in fact, Stonebridge. Uh, but at a glance, you see that he's clean, well-shaven, uh, like well-groomed. Uh, you see that he dresses like nobility, right? W whether it be rings or like a certain necklace or whatever. And that specific character information will be uh, on his left hand. You see a ring with a stormwind with the stormwind crest adorned on it. On his right, you see a ring of the Defias Brotherhood. Now this is where it comes into where my throwaway line came in. So when I was talking to the guys getting recruited to the guild um, in role play, I threw out the line that I was ex Defias. And oh boy, did I build off that. <laughs> now, for WoW role players, this is considered short. Brief, short. By the way. By the way. So, you know, this while it looks long, it's not. It's not. It really isn't. So, this is a brief summary of my character background. Uh, it is written in, in third person, and I don't think I'll go through everything. I think I'll just get the highlights, right? A summary of the summary. Uh, first, though, let me just check one thing. All right. Uh, so, Zoth Stonebridge, that is, that is my character's name. Go ahead and turn this down a little bit. Zoth Stonebridge. Born in Stormwind before some years of the First War, raised in the Kingdom of Lordaeron for uh, his formative years before the Third War, there is a specific timeline in World of Warcraft, uh, would see a prince clad in dark armor kill his father and send the region into chaos and death. That is the fall of Lordaeron, of course. Zoth and the Stonebridge family escaped to Stormwind to dis assist in the rebuilding of Stormwind and claim a new family home within Old Town. Specifically... Uh, specifically, uh, it, it's, it's somewhere here. There's like a little, there's a little area. It's either here or here. It might be in here actually, but we're just going to say for roleplay reasons, it's in here somewhere. All right. Um, Zoth joined the Snowmasons Guild, which are now known as the Defias. If you don't know your, uh, your WoW lore and assisted in the rebuilding of the Stormwind. The House of Nobles didn't pay up, and the Stonemasons rioted and fled the city with Zoth Stonebridge in tow. Zoth was bitter and fed up with the nobility. Um, being a noble blood of himself, uh, he knew that the reasons given by the nobility were absurd, right? My thought process on this is that since Zoth is a noble, uh, he was involved in the conversations that said, hey, we're not going to pay the stonemasons for rebuilding stormwind stormbridge learned a lot during his time away from stormwind 
He learned how to watch, how to listen without being spotted. And he learned that the Stonemasons Guild, now named the Defias Brotherhood, had started to build a great weapon to destroy Stormwind. Zoth, uh, Zoth's eyes were opened and decided to get out with his hands clean of the bloodshed that the Brotherhood would cause shortly after he left. Zoth reported to North Shire Valley to loosen a grip uh, the Brotherhood, Brotherhood had on Elwyn Forest. That is where every human starts their thing. So there's definitely like a little bit of a combination between n regular questing, the starting zone, and roleplay. Right? North Shore Valley. Um, let me see. I, I lost where I was. <laughs> Um, Zoth understood that the Brotherhood was fighting a war of attrition. First, he sent out great machines by the, built by the goblins in uh, the hideout to capture the fields of Westfall. The hideout being dead mines, of course. Uh, attacking Stormwind's food supply, right? Um, they employed the use of kobolds to capture and harness the gold mines in Westfall. The Brotherhood got bolder still and gained a foothold on Elwyn itself. Uh, employing the use of gnolls as a forearm to the attack, pushing ever further and ever deeper into Elwyn Forest. That is, once again, a relink to the story of Elwyn Forest, right? Now, if you've actually read the quest and you've took a military-esque understanding of, like, this is a war, you got to remember that this is a gold mine. This is Stormwind's gold mine. This is where they get gold and make money to fund stuff. Whether that be food, ships, manpower, salaries, uh, new buildings, fucking roads, uh, new kingdoms, or new fiefdoms specifically, not kingdoms, fiefdoms. All that shit. Can't do it if you don't have any gold, right? So this is captured, right? This one is also captured. This is a firm, right? So the mine is captured. This is uh, the firm is captured. And the, uh, I think it's called Cold Ridge Mine is also captured, right? And they are trying to push into the Lycan Cap. So this is a an attack on, on, on everybody. On every, every money-making thing. Like, even this mine up here is captured, right? There's kobolds there. And this... This uh, grape seed, or grape seed? I, I think it's a grape field, uh, is also captured because we are collecting grapes. <laughs> Let me see. Um, they captured the mines of Elwyn and pushed to the grape fields of North Shire. At this point, Sloth was speechless at the execution and then realized why it was so easy for the device to capture all of this territory. It was due to the Stormwind Guard being spread too thin. The Third War had ended five years before, and most of Stormwind's footholds were captured and being held by remnant horde warlords. While the war was over, there were still a lot of pieces left on the board, and defense was essential to Stormwind, meaning they didn't have the manpower to retake any of their fiefdoms that had been taken during the Third War, thus leading them to turn villages into makeshift footholds that were being held by a knife's edge. Those villages were being held by a knife edge. What do I mean by this? So, uh, I love talking about this because it's super, super nerdy shit. But uh, here's how Red Ridge works, right? So, if we are thinking of uh, Elwyn, or sorry, uh, of Stormwind being on a map, right? Being a position of power and influence and power projection, right? Let's just say that right now their sphere of influence reaches Goldshire and Northshire, but not in this, not in this, and over here as well, right? Just a little bit over here. Um, and they they only have, like, like basically they're completely surrounded on all sides, right? Now, um, as they add certain uh, military things like castles, towers, towers... Uh, more towers and stuff like that. That is 
it is increasing their sphere of influence and where they can send guards to defend certain areas, right? So, the reason why this tower is here to, is to defend a logging camp. The reason why this castle is here, right? This is a, a what I would call a fiefdom, is to make sure they're not being pushed by Westfall, right? Now, I'm not saying that Westfall specifically is turning, right? I'm not saying that that, but what I am saying is that this is a place for attack for the people that the Alliance are against, right? The Horde. Now, Red Ridge specifically, if we look at it, Stone Watch Keep is a major piece on the board. This is a major um, sphere of influence. They have a tower. They have a very defensible spot. It's on a hill. You can, if you were on this and it was real life, you would be able to see all this and dispatch uh, troops to where it needed. And this has been taken over. Which means that now the military power who were here now need to move into the actual village that they're defending, right? And they're they're not they're no longer a forward operating. They are operating on location, which is a massive fucking problem, right? Horde sits under on, on the roads. We have uh, knolls this way. We have knolls this way. We have a whole slew of of horde here. Um, so like that's a pretty big deal, and. The more you look at this video game like that, the more you see, holy shit, I don't even know how they haven't been overrun yet. Right? So we look over here. This tower was taken. Uh, the Raven Hill has been uh, risen to where there are skeletons and zombies and monsters that have arri ar ar arised. This field has been taken. This mine has been taken over by ogres. This field has been taken. This cemetery has been taken. This tower, once again, this has been taken. I I, I don't know if anybody knows about that. Uh, if we come in here, Karazan, Karazan, completely abandoned. The whole biome is dead. Swamp of Sorrows. They don't have a foothold here. I don't think they had one. What else? What else? Uh, specifically Sentinel Hill. This was their forward operating base to protect Moonbrook. Moonbrook's fucking gone. Moonbrook's fucking gone. This field. The, now, this is how you get food in this time, right? This field. Gone. This field. Gone. This field. Almost gone. This field. Gone. This field. Gone. Right? And you can see in the story of Westfall that the, uh, the uh, general public of Westfall is leaving, right? You come here, you get two quests saying, hey, get some food for the road for my poor horse, right? Jasper Low Mine, gone. Gold, quarry, uh, Gold Coast Quarry, gone. This tower over here, gone. Captured by the Horde. Uh, specifically, the, uh, the, um, the Defias, actually. So... Like, we're looking at this, and it's like, okay, well, where the fuck where the fuck is the Alliance, right? You gotta remember, it's five years after the Third War, right? Five years after the Third War, so, and, and there is a lot of things to do. Burning Steps, completely filled with the Horde, do have a foothold here. There is a foothold here, but they have not gained anything. Really, their sphere of influence is just this, right? It's just this. Horde keeps on coming through Red Ridge and then capturing up here, which, by the way, this mine and this mine are both captured. And also, this this isn't really a mine, but that's also captured. Um, so, like, we're looking at this, and it's like, okay, what runs a nation in this world? Food and money and power. The three, the three musketeers of Azeroth, right? And... They don't have shit. So, back to our story. Year 25, the fourth month, the 18th day. Uh, the year is 25 in this expansion uh, because this is when uh, a important diplomat has been kidnapped. So, after a few long months, um... Zoth and others have pushed the Defias Brotherhood out of Elwyn and all the way back to uh, Moonbrook. A messenger will be ambushed, a hideout will be discovered by the majority of the Alliance. 
the 19th day. The Dead Minds is invaded. Zoth assists the group in eliminating uh, Edwin Van Cleef. An unsent letter is discovered. Zoth brought the letter to city architect Barrows Alexton. A plot is uncovered within the House of Nobles, right? This is a big deal. This is where kind of like our story comes in. And you'll see that a little bit. A riot was ended and a master was approached. An old friend was found and a castle was infiltrated. Soth uh, discovered that Lord Gregor Lescovar was involved with the Defias Brotherhood. Soth, upon realizing this, enlisted the help of a High Lord. We dispatched justice on both Lord Lescovar, Lescovar and his contact because he was contacted with the Silent Blade. Thoth, Zoth was rewarded by receiving the Seal of Rin after an audience with the king. The king did not present his seal in person as he is away on a diplomatic mission. This is where our story begins. Zoth was notified by Bishop Delaney that one of Storm, Stormwind's important diplomats was missing. Zoth continues his adventure following that lead that was given by the bishop. So... That is kind of where we're at. So, uh, by the way, this add-on is so cool. This add-on is so cool. Uh, but that is where we are at. Um, so, what we do now uh, is we kind of just wait. So, I have tried to schedule a little bit of thing. And I'll read over these messages in a sec. Because I think this is a really cool way to do some roleplay. But... Um, but yeah, I sent some messages to High Lord Mero, Meros Ashenblood, which is the guild leader, and I said this. I sent him a f sealed document in the uh, mail system of uh, Warcraft, and I said, My lord, I hope this message, is, uh, message reaches you unopened. I bring to you the darkest of tidings. I was notified... Well, in the Holy Cathedral in Stormwind, that a matter requiring my specific attention needed unearthing. I was contacted by Bishop Dela Delaney. Uh, is that how you spell his name? Maybe it's Delavi. Whatever. Delaney. Uh, after speaking with him, he made clear that a Stormwind diplomat had been taken. Considering that I had just received the Seal of Wren from taking out the corrupt noble in Stormwind, he sought fit to enlist my help. I traveled far and wide and discovered a devised plot to, to kidnap a diplomat from Stormwind. I had the assistance of one who asked not to be named in Duskwood. Which, by the way, attached to the quest that I was doing, he actually asked that, which is really cool. It had been made clear that the Defias Brotherhood had turned an ally of ours to their side. And are planning to ambush said diplomat on their way to Minnethil Harbor. <laughs> As I was following up, with my latest lead, I spotted a man listening in on my private conversation with the innkeeper by the name of Ta Tapoke Jan. As I spotted him, he ran. And this is the final one. Uh, I chased him down and was ambushed by a friend of his. Fortunately, they were both drunk. After I physically persuaded them, they revealed something that nearly took me off my feet. Not only had the plot been completed already, but the missing diplomat was actually King Varian Wren. And thus I humbly ask again for your assistance. I am getting on a boat heading to Kalimdor. There are more specifically, I should be there at X time and place. Signed, X. So, he, he responded. And he sent me three words. The crusade will answer. <laughs> Super badass. Uh, but yeah, now we wait. And now we wait. So, uh, to catch you up to speed, because we were t speaking up in past tense, uh, I I went in, and I guess we're still going to speak in past tense, but I'm going to end where we're sitting. I went to Theramore, over here. I spoke to a commander, asked where one of his people were, and he... Uh, he said, oh, check uh, Sentry Point. And I checked there, and an Archmage appeared and then gave me a quest. Said he knew 
what was going on. Specifically, what did he say? Um... Uh, he said that I can find the person I'm looking for here. I came up. I, you know, not wanting to spook him while we wait for the High Lord. I came up here and then there he is. So we are currently sitting in wait in the bushes. Awaiting our assistance because this guy is pretty difficult. Um, and then once... Lord Maros um, gets on and actually we should add him to a friends list as well just so we have him right uh, there we go so then we'll know but yeah that's where we're at right now Um, so there is, there is a part of this. Now I did give him a pretty big time frame. I said 9 PM my time to 3 AM my time. Right. Um, so, you know, there might be a, uh, like there might be a way to where like he misses this and then that adds to the story. Right. Here's my thought process. He comes here. We have a, a, a nice little chat and then we go and deal with the problem or he doesn't. And I go deal, like, deal with myself, but the next time he sees me, I am visibly injured, right? Vis visibly injured. Um, and then there would be a little bit of uh, dismay. Don't you teabag me. Don't do it. I almost killed you. You're level 40. Did I have my gear on though? Yeah, I did. Alright. I, I do have back rows to switch gear around. Because, you know, of course. What I can do is I could set my hearthstone here and then go quest a little bit until he's ready because like this quest only gives like 3,000 quest uh thing the only reason i'm doing is because of the role play you know damn it gives you 10,000 holy shit yeah i had to go for it but he did a lot of damage oh man i had a potion dude if i if i used that potion he was gone He was gone. I'd imagine he'll be sitting and wait. And you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. I wonder if I could have... No, I had poisons on. Oh, I don't have poisons on. My weapons are poison. And I also have the talent. Specifically. By, by the way, I'm pretty excited that I was able to actually hit all these. Oh, he had end venom. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I think we'll go and, uh, like, we'll go set our hearth and we'll go, like, do a wetlands quest or something. I'll tell you one thing, though. I've been having a lot of fun on the Rogue. Um, not because of ganking people, because I've only ganked, I've only ganked, like, ten people, I think. Uh, specifically, it's because of the, uh, runes. I haven't been reading, like, oh, this is exactly where you get said thing, right? 
I haven't been reading that. What I have been doing is getting really good clues with Questy. So, like, right here, I know that, like, it's here. But that's because I'm holding shift, right? I'm not always holding shift. Like, I might for a bit, but I might not, like, keep on continually reading into it. Uh, because it's better that way. Ooh, I could have shadow stepped. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Um, but yeah, the, the, uh, quest... Uh, have me going into, um, going in alone to, uh, stocks, or not stocks, sorry, uh, Scarlet Monastery, which is really cool being a member of the, uh, the Scarlet Crusade, right? And we go ahead and turn on our friendly nameplates. So, interface, all NPCs, bam, you can actually see how it looks. And then every time I type, if you have total RP, you will see my name come up as Zoth Stonebridge, right? See? Really cool add-on. Yeah, I think we'll, um... I think we'll go, uh, like, Wetlands or something and do a quest. I'm pretty sure we're good. God, I love this place. Oh yeah, I can show you his message. Cause the way I formatted the uh this like the the ladder was actually really cool. Oh man, I could have prepped as well. I am a I am a rogue noob. This much is clear. This much is clear. What level can you enter Scarlet Monastery in? Is it level 31? Yeah. It is. Because if we go in the graveyard, we can pick up a thing. A skill book. Now, mind you, I don't know what the fucking skill book does. I'm hoping it makes my poison in it permanent. I'm going to check, actually. So I already know where to get it because of because I played through phase two. Let's see. Redirect. Um, removes all existing uh, combo points from your target and stores them out for 15 seconds. These stored combo points will be transferred to the next non-player enemy you hit. Uh, I'm going to be honest, it's pretty necessary. Oh, by the way, we can also tank as a rogue, which is really funny. So yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll set my hearth here, that's okay. There's his message. Sealed, High Lord Ma Maros, a missing diplomat, 3 to 3, sealed. The crusade answers. <laughs> so cool. So cool. Uh, so yeah, I kind of gotten like engulfed in in um, in World of Warcraft roleplay yesterday, and I'm quite excited. Have a good one. I am quite excited, uh, and we have we have roleplay gear, right? So this is my roleplay set. That's what you saw in the thumbnail. I actually have this, and then my actual set of gear is this. <laughs> look like a fucking look like a fucking elf, elf on a shelf. Uh, so, like, I, I just have two macros that will change it. And thankfully, it kind of keeps everything where it be, you know? And the shoulders really, really match. Because this is all the cured set, which is just level one shit. I mean, it says level 17, but you know what I mean. Um, and that's just something really cool. I can move faster than mounts with this for three seconds. 
I'm hoping they just got off because then I won't miss the boat. The silver hand! Hey, my boys. That's uh if I had a known about that guild, I definitely would have joined that guild before I joined this guild. Uh just because the silver hand is such a cool fucking thing. But I've made it work with the Scarlet Crusade as well, it's fine. Uh they must have been late, I guess. Ooh, do you drive through that boat? You don't. Nice. So what quest am I gonna do while we're waiting for the High Lord? I think we're gonna do wetlands, right? Like unless I wanna do these quests, which I don't. Like these quests are getting further and further away. We could go into the jungle. I don't know if I wanna do that. <laughs> uh oh, we could go and get Gaz or Gath. So well. Um, what? How's Wetlands doing with quests? Oh goodness. Where the fuck do you quest at level thirty, dude? Here? No, that's too early. Ooh, hill spreads looking tight. Uh, I guess we could always go to Desolus. Highway robbery. Can't do that until it's forty. We already know what quest that is, though. I don't think we're going to be doing any of those quests. I'm never going to to um, there, ever. Never, ever, dude. I think we'll go to Wetlands and we'll, uh, we'll go and do some quests, right? So we're going to go grab this. Uh, how much quests do I, how many quests do I have? So we have this. So we're going to go ahead and abandon that. We have... This is a pretty nice quest. Um, we could go to Duskwood as well. Honestly, I think Wetlands is going to be the best bet. Because Duskwood's pretty low, right? Yeah, 18 to 30. That's a fucking level range, I'll tell you that. But yeah, my uh, my character is definitely X Defias, you know. X Defias was a noble, kind of got out, you know, did his thing. Um, and uh, I think that's a cool storyline, you know. Like no, like a part of nobility. I also worked for the stonemasons. Then you know what happened happened. He went out and then realized that, you know, they were trying to build a super weapon and blow up a Stormwind, so he got it, right? Um, but yeah, I'm really... Uh, oh, by the way, let me show you this. Since it's nighttime, we have a torch that actually works. If we want to be really RP, we can do this. I didn't put a torch in a thumbnail because I didn't want it to uh, fuck my uh, fuck my uh, uh, thumbnail up because the lighting kind of fucks with removing the background. Hello. See you later. It's crazy, like, how, while, while, like, um, while the torch is not a huge deal, and it's not a big item, it's kind of like a throwaway Westfall item, it has a big impact. Big impact. Because it's like, you never really see, like, people using this item unless you're a role player. Um, but yeah, it really, it really adds something.
It really does add something. And there are more items like this as well. There, uh, there are like uh, lanterns you can hold as well. It's just this one's the best. And you can get a wand version as well from Nomer. I remember uh, years and years and years ago, like we're talking like 12 years ago, anytime I would get on a boat, I would always come here and sleep. I was so like, I was so attached to the idea that, at least back then, that like, you know, people would like come in here and actually just go to sleep while on a boat. Uh, that I, These hammocks have just triggered a memory. <laughs> that was That was a long time ago. All right. But yeah, as as guild names go though, the Scarlet Crusade, perfect fucking guild name. And uh, I don't know how this name's even allowed in World of, World of Warcraft. I really don't. Because like, you know, you can't say <laughs> you can't have a guild name that says Stormwind Guard or Stormwind. Um at least I don't think because these names are like blocked, you know. Uh, but I will be going for my tabard, I'll tell you that. Because since we are the Scarlet Crusade, we can get the tabard. I'm a role player. This is what role players look like. We walk everywhere. It takes 60 years. The thing is, though, like, you'll notice that, like, a lot of role players are very attached to, you know, or very, um, really, really dedicated. And I'm not saying this about myself, but really dedicated to, um, to walking everywhere. I'm curious to see, like, if, if the, uh, like, a group of role players have, like, walked the entire world. Now, I know that, like, like, I've heard tell and seen that, like, some people, like, do challenges where they have to walk across the world. But I mean, like, in a roleplay aspect, you know? But, yeah, it's very thematic to have a, have a carry a torch. That's why I have all my roleplayer gear. That's why I actually bought really big bags for this guy. <laughs> I bought really big bags for this guy because I knew that um, that I'm going to have all this fucking brawl player gear. I'm like, all right, fuck it. So yeah, we're only at 453 gold now. All right. War banners. Ooh. Lifting the curse looks like a pretty good quest line right there. But we are on a roleplay server, to be clear. Just to keep that in mind. Do I need to Greenwall at Warden Quest? No. See you later. What's next? Oh, I need to find your ass in Theramore. Well, I'll be going back, so. Alright, we can stop RP walking. Uh, there he is. Hey there. Okay, lifting the curse. Where do you want me to go for the third fleet? You want me to buy him a flagon of mead? <sighs> All right, bro. Got my attention. Walk with you. Once I find the bartender, that'd be great. 
This is the only innkeeper in the game that's actually in the, uh, in the thing. Alright, we'll uh, switch out our gear once we get out of the town. But yeah, I really like the Defias Hood. I think it's such a cool item. And you get it so early, right? Like, I unlocked this at 14 and I'm fucking level 31 right now. Alright. Real gear time. Let's go ahead and get poisons up even though I'm going to be fighting skeletons. Two instant poisons, please. I'll grab this quest as well. How are ya? Right, let's get moving. Let's get moving. So I don't want to use preparation all the time. But if I'm trying to go long distances, I will use prep because, you know, it's 50% movement speed for 30 seconds, right? That's near mounted. And I'll always try to j jump on the last tick as well. Oh, and I will try to gank any horde I see, as long as they are not question marks. So, any horde 40 and below, I will gank. Um, as long as they are green to me, I will gank them. But I, I won't gank a, a gray level. Um, I think I'm gonna upload this into a uh, into an actual recap of the stream. I think it might be worthwhile. The power of rogue, baby. Oh, never mind. Shadow step works like charge. It's so dumb. Why? But why though? It's shadow step. I literally teleport. Behind. Is it because he's on a thing? <sighs> I'm gonna be honest, it's kinda dumb. Oh, they get can be poisoned. Great. Oh, we're also full sub spec subtlety. I fat fingered my healing potion, so that's gone now. Hey, I set my hearth, didn't I? I didn't set my hearth. Thankfully, I am in wetland, so it's not too bad. Oh man, undead rogue, let's go. Yeah, there's two things I don't like about Shadow Step. It's on the GCD, the global cooldown, which means you cannot Shadow Step instant ambush, which sucks. Um, and also that no path available thing. It doesn't ruin the spell, but it definitely makes it worse. Uh, I'll tell you one thing right now, though. Definitely prefer Dagger Spec to uh, Swords for Rogue. I just really like the the class fantasy of being an ambushing rogue. <clears throat> oh, I, I also did BFD, which is where I got all this shit. <coughs> I did BFD. I got this item, this item, this item, and the trinket. Fucking hilarious. First time doing on this character... Don't really know how to play rogue in a raid context. You know, did her thing. Man, I cannot wait to be one-shot in players. Now, mind you, I have actually one-shot players. Like, the few players I have ganked 
with ambush crits, like, they do just kind of fall over. But yeah, we're only level 30 yet, so, like, we got some, we got some time to go. With the, uh, how much damage I'm gonna be doing with the uh, ambush. <clears throat> yeah, we uh, invasion and blade dance here because there's two people and we're quite low. Good place to farm silk cloth. Not too bad. Alright, we need one more skelly. And then we need to grab some cursed marines as well. I don't think there's any marines on this boat. Oh, there is two. Oh, and the snuff box. Oh, but of course. Where is that box? Because I know that's not it. I must be tripping. Because it ain't here. Oh, you have to kill someone for it. Duh. These are literally right there, dumbass. Our breath is running out. That is something that's happening. Man, I can see him. So well. You know, Eviscerate just does not do enough damage for how long it takes to get it. Because, like, man, it takes a long time to get your Eviscerate up and running. Is there just not that many fucking Marines, or what? It is very weird not having buffs, by the way. Oh, there's a few Marines over there. Um... Like, I keep on looking at this, like, man, where's all my buffs? And it's like, oh, I don't have any. I have poisons, that's it. Okay. Okay, Cursed Sailor, Cursed Marine. Man, just like pressing one button and them losing half their health is so nice. Oh, I'm gonna use all this silk too. Marine. Blade Dance here. You know, when I heard the name Blade Dance, I'm like, oh, it's just going to be like that AoE ability. Blade Flurry, but it's not. I know I'm drowning. Uh, that kind of looks not good, huh? Ouch. Ouch. Hmm. I could kill him, right? Just full kidney to uh, make sure that I actually don't die. And we're good. 
going to stealth for the rogue, you know, make sure I don't get ganked or something. Not a, not that it's a challenge to gank me. It's really not. Um, okay. Make some more bandages. I'm going to max out my fishing here but soon. I think it's, I have to be level 36. 36, 41, I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. I mean, honestly, I'm curious. Oh, no, pre-med's really good. I was just, like, wondering. It's like, oh, can we, like, you know, break to assassination early and go for cold blood? Uh, I don't think so. I didn't even aggro that guy. It's crazy. There are definitely some builds. That you can really work some stuff. Like, I know that we're definitely going to want this. We're probably going to want this. We're definitely going to want cold blood at some point. Like, five second gouge is pretty big. How many points is that? Three. Mm. Is it five seconds? I think it's five seconds. Gonna be pretty big. Like rogue is always like you know you can go a lot of you can go a little, go a lot of ways. Now I have definitely played a rogue in uh, classic. Um, I've level leveled him up to sixty from Prebus. Um, but I, I wanted to play a rogue in season discovery because rogues are fun to kill people with. You know. And the different kind of builds are cool as well. So. Going down to get cold blood. 20 points. 31 points into, into subtlety. I think you can put 31 points in, right? 3 1 for free. Whoa, what the fuck? Who the hell are you? There was Horde here. I've never seen those guys spawn. Yeah, that, that, uh, that's new. What can I do for you? Be careful. Okay, you want me to go here now, and then I'll come back, and you want me to go somewhere else, and then I'll come back, and we'll be done. Need help? Why is there so much dwarvish going on? Dude, I've never seen that armor. I think that's the old human model. Hmm. Very interesting. 10,000 health. Not bad. Not great either, but not bad. My fans on? Like, why is it so hot? Oh, that's why. That would be why. My fans not on. Okay. So we'll kill this guy. What's next after this? I guess I won't. I won't see it, right? I'm curious if I'm going to pick up fishing on this character. I don't think I want to. Like, I think the only reason I pick up fishing is for roleplay purposes.
Yeah, Deadly Poison does not work good if you want to use Goge. You want to be like double crippling or something. Shadow Step is one of my favorite spells in the game, by the way. One of, not the, but one of. Just because, like, it's a really cool ability. Um, and especially when it gives you a speed increase as well. Oh, I can't believe I'm progressing through, like, th two phases of worth of leveling. And leveling's going really quick. Really fast. Oh, that's something that I'm looking for. Oh, you fool. It's fine, he's dead anyway. I'll just full rank of this. Or you'll parry. Parry this you filthy casual. And then the lockbox at the bottom. Yeah, he was trying to kill that guy, lol. I just mooched the fuck out of his stuff. And he doesn't even know who I am. Because I'm out. I'm gone. Gone like the wind. Where's his fucking chest? There it is. What's this clown doing now? Okay. Uh, cleansing the eye, which brings me to Stormwind. I'll grab that quest and then we'll move on a better day. I definitely want to go do a dungeon, though. Too bad everybody doing dungeons right now. Hmm. Boy levels. I wouldn't imagine people be leveling alts right now. I didn't sleep all too well. If you noticed, um, you know, it's 10. <sighs> I, I'm not, I, I'm yawning, but I'm not yawning because I'm tired for staying up all day. I'm yawning because, uh, I woke up recently. I woke up at, like, 7.30, 8.30. So I only slept for fucking, like, six, six hours, I think. Which for me is bad. We'll see if I am able to get to sleep tonight at a reasonable time. Like, when I say reasonable, I mean, like, you know, 3 a.m. That'd be nice. Uh, should we get our thing first? I think we should. Come on in. That's a name. Yeah, we'll get our extra 3%. I should have been using it the whole time. I just forgot about it. You see that there's no... Uh, that sentry's not here anymore? That elite guy? So there was Horde here. And they summoned the big guards. Oh, 
All right, while this is uh, doing its thing, I will be right back.
What's on your mind? Turn the storm on, right? Yep. Benedictus. Wonder where the horde was. I wonder why. That's what I'm really wondering. Like why? Oh, brother, if there's a fucking thing on the floor, I'm going to catch up to your ass. Dude, if I really wanted to go all the way, I could bribe swift uh, potions. Swiftness. Come on, bro. Why are you all the way over there, Toad? That's a fucking shot. Wait a second. Need to alt print screen that. Word of Warcraft, Word of Warcraft, Word of Warcraft. Thumbnails, there we go. Let's. Trying to keep an eye out. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think about this. Why is there nobody doing Scrum Monastery? I'd imagine that, um, I'd imagine it's due to, like, you know, Phase 3 was a little long time ago now. Phase 2. Right? Um, and thus, everybody's already leveled to 40, right? But, that being said, there was also, you know, the highly exploitable um, events that people probably overplayed like crazy. Mind you, I, I, I'm not playing this character to go super fast, but I do want to do a few dungeons, right? Um, how quickly could I get to Cathedral? I mean, I could just get a summon. Oh, Meros is on! My lord. Should we turn around now? My lord. A little bit of a ruddy nose. Or for this uh, RP scene I have set up, uh, let me know. I'd like to get this done so I'm not waiting on anybody. Hey, we'll grab this quest. How are you? What can I do for you?
Oh yeah, we have a we basically have fall damage immunity now. Because of uh easy shadow step. As long as there's a mob under us. It's like the warrior charge. That was useful. We can finally uh, get to it. There's the other one. Let's just go ahead and sap you. Oh, you can't be sapped. Thank you, dick. I didn't want him to move closer to me because I didn't want to be aggroed. It's definitely the thing, but hey. There's the last one, nice. You know, I didn't realize how like how many spawn locations they there were for this quest. There's a lot. And we're gonna wanna finish this quest first, because we don't we're gonna get <laughs> we're gonna get XP'd out of it. Nice. Nice little quick quick seventy percent speed. Wait, am I in my roleplay gear right now? I am. <laughs> What's on your mind? Right? I am. I just did all that and I was in my roleplay gear. Interesting. Was I... Did I... Dude. I don't... I mean, I might as well keep it on at this point, but... That's a lot of agility, you know? I'm just like, nah, we don't need it. We don't need it. Super speed. All uh, priority. Let's see uh, where to go. Unfortunately, I couldn't hand deliver the letters. Uh, I'll be. Uh, it will be in, in dust. Wallow marsh. Um, but uh, Blizzard removed the functionality to actually like write letters to each other um, via like handing them in trade. Unfortunately. Um, and thus, um, I, I had to, like, actually, like, I actually had to send them in-game mail, which has a, has a delay. A long delay. It's an hour. Hmm. 
Is this supposed to be Stonebrow? Thoradeen. That's a really cool name. But that looks like a mistype more than anything. It'd be cool if you could see your name like here as well, but I, I'd imagine that's too difficult for the add-on, right? Oh, wow. Look at this. Dude, that's so cool. Like, this is the kind of shit that I would love to have in 5M. Woo! It's literally the shield. Damn, what are you doing here so early? Oh, I'd imagine they're grabbing the rune. And also, th that's not early. That's perfect, of course. <clears throat> Imposter shield. Dude, it matches so well. What can I do for you? This is going to be a fun little thing. I'm going to have Sprint here in a second. Oh, I thought that was... Oh, God. The two-time Thaddeus Olympic Squire of Crusade. What is that RP profile? <laughs> Hold on, we gotta go find that. This is how you tell who's a, a role player or not. You'll see right here. Oh wow, look at that. That's really cool. Firmly uh, a great tack and field. Uh, <laughs> you're so stupid. <laughs> yeah, so this is how you like differentiate someone who is like doing just like a like a meme RP thing, um, and then people who actually do it in the world. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, wow, we can full screen it, too. Cool. Oh, whoops. I should stealth. I didn't realize that he was right fucking next to me. So, he's bringing a friend, I see. I'm just gonna stay stealth. I'm not here right now. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, I guess I get to see his character stuff. Lord Paladin bears the sigil of a crusade officer. Armor of content. Scorn and disdain for weakness shields his soul from corruption and temptation. God. I'm not here right now. I'm not here right now. Huh. I'm a, I'm in Theramore. <laughs> All right. 
Um, racked by guilt. Sees visions of his dead wife. True believer. A subtle but powerful reverence of, for the light. Nice. The third war veteran. Love that. Love that. I love that so much. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright. Alright. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. Yeah. Alright. This motherfucker role plays. Holy shit. Damn. <laughs> All right. Well struck, my lord. All right. Now we're fucking playing, huh? Now we're playing. What? the fuck I didn't realize that that was a thing okay that's kind of cool though technically they're neutral yeah that's so cool a veteran of the third war love that for him Love that for him. Uh oh. Oh. Interesting. So I can't I can't look at his uh, RP profile because um he is disguised. That's interesting. Oh, for fuck's sakes, Jeremy! God damn it! I was supposed to be cool. Oh, alright. That's some fucking H, dude. I would have been so much faster. <laughs> fucking Christ. What is this quest? Oh my god. High Qu Inquisitor? Jesus Christ. How many people are they bringing to this? I thought it was just gonna be me and the GM. Oh man, you're putting me on the fucking spot. Alright, well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let me just stealth out. It burns when I RP. <laughs> the fucking guild name's awesome! Oh, God. Alright. Um, Witch Hill? What is it called? That's so awesome. Okay. Maybe I should change the name of this fucking channel. Uh, Guild uh, Plus. Fuck it, I don't care. Second tower. All right, I am, I am almost there. I saw a fucking high inquisitor, <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
All right, well, you know. You know. We are in our RP gear, so let's... Let's get it out. Oh, shoulder pads. Can I put this in my main hand? No. Can I put this in my main hand? No. <clears throat> Ooh. Can you just leave him alive for a little while longer, please? Thanks, brother. Yeah, uh, I wasn't, I, I kind of didn't want to, uh, you know, approach the place where, <laughs> where they're supposed to be coming to me, like, in character, in character, I'm already here waiting, I've been waiting. All right. Uh, you can invite me to your Alright. On the lair. Ooh. I will find you soon. Very well. I am I'm kind of hidden. <laughs> Very well. I am kind of hidden. <laughs> second tower. Behind the second tower. Uh not close to the west turn in. Outside of Theramore. Close to our near Bracken Wall Village next to the ocean. Okay, good luck. Good luck, dude. I don't I, I I don't know how they would find me but hey listen do not doubt the high lord do not doubt him no I don't want to kneel before him the fuck <clears throat> in the hills Uh, 46.06, uh, 27.13. Uh, I think that's the best way to do it, right? Just so he finds me. All right. Okay, it's role, role play time. I think there's going to be a lot of people, so there's going to be a lot of reading. But hey, I think there's, and by a lot, I mean three. I saw three people. <clears throat> Dude, I should have fucking emotes on standby. What am I doing? I think that's my cords, right? I can't see. 
Yeah, it's definitely my cords. All right. We await their arrival. Wonder how they're going to get up here. Oh, I should have a Neil emote as well. Slash Neil. Yeah, it really doesn't help that I can't see the fucking names. God damn it. All right. I'd imagine they're role play walking up. Now, mind you, I can't see them, right? But I'm just imagining they're run uh, walking up through Theramore because they them met at the end. Now, just to make sure everybody's on the same page here, this is in in terms of World of Warcraft story. This is kind of a big deal. What's happening right now? Because this guy is involved with kidnapping the king of fucking Stormwind. Of fucking Stormwind, right? King Varian Rin. So, like, you know. You know. Bloody raptor on me. Oh, God. They're coming. <laughs> I wonder how you pronounce that. Stowenbrow? Stowenbrow? Thorladeen Stowenbrow? Really cool name. Oh, there they are. There they are. Look at that. <laughs> so cool. Which room? All right. <laughs> My lord. I believe that man down there is the man who I seek. Oh god. <laughs> They're gone! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do you see him? Yes. By the name Handel. Filth. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> uh, I uh, will approach him while you lie in wait. I need him to confess. If he tries to ambush me, I'll need your assistance. Uh, 
I need to find the truth, my lord. I need not murder him. Or I need not kill him without him telling the truth. He will confess. Believe me. All right. <laughs> you were called for a reason. Private Handel. If you are working with the Defias Brotherhood, how do you plead? Oh, fuck. <laughs> God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, where's my weapons? Oh, God. Proudmore. That's how you spell it. <laughs> King's honor, friend. For the alliance. You must leave now, traitor. What? Be careful. Miss Proudmore. Jesus Christ. Um, okay. This lady. Uh, she hands me a ring. Seal on it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Meryl's weight. I believe there is something bigger going on here. All right, let me read the quest. Uh, there is a darkness in Stormwind. What? Exclamation point. Thank you, Turvos. Well met. Go with honor, friend. But uh, I had help. <laughs> Farewell. Oh, God. Oh, there's Horde. Oh god, what is he whispering? Sorry, I'm not used to World of Warcraft. Um at casual expect it expectedly. Why? Question mark. She just helped undiscovered. She just helped discover the uh, There we go. Uh, I was a marine aboard her flagship, the we the wave cutter. Uh, 
Um, what does what does he say specifically? Speak to Lady jo Jana Promore. We fought side by side in defense of Lordaeron. Okay. But when the walls were breached, she fled. I fled too. I was only a boy then. It was only a boy then. Oh, we should do this. What else could we do? Slain? Hold your tongue. There are motives inside motives. Did you not see? What did you see? M maybe I saw something different. I was there. No, High Lord. This is the, the indoctrination, I imagine, of the Scarlet Crusade. What did you see? Arthas was a boy as I grew. Helped him grow in strength. He would never turn on his home. Were you there? I was. I saw the fall! As did I. I watched my family be taken by the scourge. I I got it. Escaped. My son Eridus forced to watch his mother die. Or, not there are more Lord Aron. My family. <laughs> you speak of Arthas. I saw, I saw a prince clad in dark armor approach the castle. Holding a dark blade. God, my eyes are so fucked. And followed that. There is much darkness in this world. Dude, really cool armor set. Who? I 
A dragon lays in the wake. Lays in wake in the keep of Stormwind. The great tree will burn, brother. Teldrassil. The facts are in the light. My king is no traitor. And what of... And what of the king of Stormwind? He's still out there! The boy. No. The man. Varian. Varian Rin. The Rin boy. That is why we are here. That is why we are here, High Lord. Diplomat is the King of Stormwind. Yes, but the king is still missing. Brother Zoth presents us with an opportunity. I should probably take off my mask. Oh, he's speaking Dwarvish. I love that. Uh, whether we want it or not, we need Stormwind's uh, help if we want to retake Lordaeron and avenge your son. Okay. <laughs> this is so interesting. This is my first roleplay scene in World of Warcraft, technically, I guess. Repairs or battle. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Yes, High Lord. <clears throat> we are at your aid to recover the king.
Where must we go next? Uh, I need to speak with Lady Proudmore. The bishop. This is a dead end. Father Farthering? No. What's his name? Um. No. Bishop D. Levy. He is the one who sent me on this quest. However, he did not mention that the King of Stormwind was the one who was missing. But this is a dead end. Hopefully. I can't spell interrogated. Private Handel's not there. God damn it. What the? Wait. Oh, they went on the quest, I guess. Huh. I see. Ah, I see. All right. must go speak to uh i must uh well i don't want to i don't want to say like i'm ending it how oh, i phrased that properly okay uh let me go ahead and do this and this the trail cold I think uh, speaking to Lady Proudmore in her keep is the best next step. However, I'm a familiar face at best indeed. Very well. 
Follow me. Keep up. All right. I'll um Are they going to go past, I wonder? I grew up in these swamps. I grew up <clears throat> I have learned much. Still only a scout. Nothing lowly in that. Hey, look, Henry's come to see us. Information is power, indeed. Oh, she needs a shield, dude. The fuck? <laughs> Oh god. I'll, uh, I'll just wait here. <clears throat> Fucking level one gnome, I wonder what the fuck they're doing. A young gnome. In these parts. Strange. Hey. God, nighttime World of Warcraft's just something else, huh? Keep up. Uh, Lady uh, Proudmore gave me her ring, her seal. On um, what is this continent called? Azeroth. Um.
What is his name? Question mark. I haven't read his like actual thing, so like I don't know. At a glance. Oh my god, there's just so much to read. Gifts of the light. It was a gift. A gift. Hmm. I see. All right. <clears throat> I need a drink. Hello. Let's see. Uh, I'll just have melon, milady. <laughs> Ah, they are dry. Ick. Open for business. Safe travels. All right. From a dog town, Jesus. Slash drink. refreshing yeah it's definitely different um different rp styles between 5m and uh world of warcraft uh what brought you under the command of of the high lord Hail, Rogue. I'm asking for backstory. The scars of war are visible on his face. I wonder how known in this world the Ashbringer would be. I would imagine not, right? Because that was like secret secret. As I said, I fought beside Lady Proudmoore during the Third War. View of her that uh, the High Lord does? Question mark. His views are, how do I put this, intense on the matter. I could... I can say that. I can see that. My views are different. I know what I saw. A prince. But at the darkest hour, she made a decision, and I worry she has lost her faith. Oof. But 
Spell a rogue. I was with a platoon of marine marines down at the last few men. Uh, um, I was with a platoon of marines to the last few men standing. Um, and we help after the fall. Oh, he actually has booze, lol. Huh. Sounds awful. Sounds terrible. You slay slain the scour scourge that was set to end me. We got lucky. After the fall of Stormwind, we uh, went to Lordaeron. Meryl's demonstrated a bastion of strength in a sea of hopelessness. And then, after we saw a very dark prince approach the castle in his dark armor with his uh dark sword we fled thank the light we did i don't know what happened Be specific, I wasn't close, but it was cold. Like the very heat in the air was being frozen as I uh, stare. Uh, a tower. Wait, that was Dalaran. Does not, does not say. I need another drink. <laughs> the only reason I'm saying I don't know is because I don't know. Looking for something specific? Safe travel. All right. <clears throat> I didn't hear that. Anyway. The stonemasons helped rebuild Stormwind. Uh, 
House of Nobles did not pay up. The stonemasons rioted. But they want to destroy the city. Well, blood still on my very hands. Indeed. God, there's so many fucking people here. Holy shit. Found a message on the Defias leader Van Cleef. Either I can type the fastest or I just don't shut up. <laughs> what of the royal family? Uh, they killed the queen. I had no choice. But she was.
<sighs> what else? There's so much backstory, man. It's crazy. You know... I cannot look past. Is that you spell it with? I can type like 80 words a minute. It's fine. This is how you get someone into roleplay, by the way. That's how you do it. When I say play with it, I mean he's just like twisting it. <laughs> Join us, brother. Who knew I was going to spend an hour doing this? <laughs> I didn't. Oh, my lord. Good day to you. Whoa. Whoa. What was that? What was that? Who is this man?
Okay. Quickly swipes a gold pouch off Elric. Oh. Ooh! Okay! Okay, okay, okay. Nice. <clears throat> Hi, Lord. Alright, let me look at his stuff. A forgotten friend appears. Looks different than normal. He seems really worried about something. He doesn't look like he's slept. His skin is pale. He, he speaks quietly to himself. <clears throat> oh, he sees me. Grab it. Okay. Ties to royalty. Oh, ho, ho, ho. High Lord of the Scarlet Crusade. Recognizing the corruption within the Crusade, found his own order. Dude, this is so cool. There's nothing to fear. Unwavering devotion. Loyalty to the light in his homeland knows no bounds. Never wavering. Interesting. Wait, there's a fucking theme? <laughs> okay. Uh, relationship. It's gonna be friendly. For sure. <clears throat> Where did the casual go? I should look out. Nope, oh, speak of the devil. <laughs> Speaking of Paladin. Ooh, I like your about me. Thank you. Thank you. I could have made it look cooler, I suppose. That ring. Yes. Which one? Which one? Yeah, there's two. Two rings. Grabs his right hand gently. Oh yeah, which one is it? Doesn't resist. Yeah, which one is that? This is... Well... <laughs> you helped me get it. <laughs> that uh that woman though what's her name
I don't need to know her name. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> that woman is cursed, brother. Lady Prestor! <laughs> She bears the mark of a black dragon king. Can you not feel it? No. I'm not as well versed in the light as you, my lord. <laughs> Inspects his ring carefully as if looking for signs of spying. Anyway, hi, Lord, my Lord. <clears throat> Not Jesus. <laughs> Oh god. What the fuck? Get out. <laughs> nice magic. <laughs> Screams from the floorboards. My home is in Scarlet Hall. So sure. Old Town. No. That is your home as well, brother. Scarlet Hall? Where the fuck is that? <laughs> is that just what he's calling? It? Oh, it's here. Uh, maybe another time. Another time. We do have a quest. Oh, the hills of South Shore, Shore hold the key to the crusade. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. What, is he a lord? Lord Paladin. Lord Paladin. 
uh, we best be going, be heading out. Meet me on the side when you're ready. All right. You are a lord, no? No? Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is so cool. I understand, like, everything's really slow. Nonsense. Lord. <laughs> a paladin such as yourself. A man's respect. We are all children of delight. Oh, God. Checks, que uh, checks, and uh, no. All right. That's a good way to say that I'm an idiot. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Yeah, RP walking is just cool. I mean, just look at all this. Look at all this. If you've watched anything about my Minecraft world, you know I love this to death. How did you meet the High Lord? Question mark. So? So how did you meet him? I'll reiterate. We'll just have a little pause here. I see. I see. The trail ends here. Thank you, clerk. <sighs> Apologies. Uh, 
Um, okay. Follow me. Let me speak with someone. I have an idea. Okay. Infiltrate the castle. Casual. If the private... have my own conversation. I can be very persuasive. Possibly. Uh, wait for me. That's super cool. Did they fucking jump? <clears throat> Very clever. I think they're called machiculations, actually, but I can't spell that. I think it's downstairs, but I saw a door, but I saw a door. All right. Uh, wait for me in the inn.
Okay, so in RP, I climb up the fucking walls and get up there. So I'm going to get up there first. I mean, I know there's nobody down here, but, you know, roleplay. Roleplay! And if there's anybody watching, I can have a little moment to where I, like, appear. All right. Uh, RL break for a minute, a few minutes copying. Infiltrating the castle. Do I have a mask on? I do. Um, Rin Kidnapper. There we go. I'm just reading some lore about this. I'm gonna have to go use the bathroom to, to here in a sec. Fucking empty. Mind you, they don't really have any guards, so... God. <laughs> Hold on ass. Okay. something uh, uh, I don't uh, sorry proud more are great nothing inside to keep but the tower I could Access act. Protecting the tower. I cannot get through it. Uh, I'd have to be very close. 
It's not going to change the magic. That's change the magic. I don't think, High Lord. Unless. I could shadow you, but the, uh, Powerful. I'm quite good at distractions. I... Yeah, if she's here, I don't even know. Um. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm just gonna walk in. Just gonna walk in. Pushes his way in. Oh, Jesus. Don't see him. Okay. An idea. Pickpockets, Trevos. A letter is removed. What is this going to say? I don't know. I haven't decided yet.
He looks very upset. I'll leave. <gasps> Prolonging. Running. A room for one, please. Reads letter. They killed him. Um, uh, face looks in horror. At the words is off is reading. He gone. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Lord. Uh, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> uh, not, uh, not by the hands of Proudmore. Defy us, Brotherhood. I'm just gonna make all this shit up. Brave tidings. During our distraction. Hands no. <clears throat> Takes a knee. Of Dawn. Who's that? No. Is a formidable mage. Well, a false crusader. Oh shit! They're talking. Okay. Oh, I see where you're putting it. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. Arcanus. There's something I must say. 
I must say. Um, I have... More than once. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can take care of him. Lord. I will take a, I will mission. Return with the scabbard to the Scarlet Kirkite Crusade. Holy shit. Uh, Lord. Uh, hi, Lord. I might some more time as. I entered, but a group would be a difficult I must hone my skills. This is so fun. I know it's like, it's hard, but, you know. Indeed. Thankfully. Would you like us to take you there? We can show you our home and make sure you do not per perish in the dub undead away uh, along the path. Goodbye, Lord. I need not have an escort. My <clears throat> the light hears those who call. Indeed. Uh, 
and I'm gone. And that's it. That's the end of our tale. That was really fun. What a good time. That was like two hours of straight roleplay. Jesus Christ. My lord. On the cat, on the... I'm on the castle walls. Hey! Thank you very much for the uh, $25. I don't have a sound for that, so... <laughs> That's it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh, Jesus. 38? Dude, dudes, those are expensive. Thank you, Lord. Alright. Uh, where's next? Because we gotta do some questing. Right? Let's head back to Stormwind. Well, we can wait. Let me just check for a sec. But yeah, thank you, Casual. Appreciate it. Uh, let me see. We have a quest in Stormwind. All right. But yeah, it was really fun. I do have an audio thing. Nice. Nice. It took a little bit, but hey, nice. Yeah, I forgot that, um... You know, never even answered rip. Wait, what the? Okay, uh, let's go turn this in. By the way, I should point out that I love basic transmogs, and this is literally the most basic, and it looks so cool. Like, this is literally the cured stuff from right here. There's a little vendor in there. There's a little vendor in there, and it is a thing. Hello, B Coven. Welcome. Good roleplay, guys. That was my first, like, real scene. Tell you one thing. It's a lot different from 5M. It's a lot different. Like, when you have those, like, two-hour scenes... In 5M, like, it's a long, it's a long time, and you're like, throat hurts or whatever, and, but there's always something else to do, and this, like, that's the thing. Um, but, uh, but yeah, while, while roleplay is just, it is a different breed. You are welcome. Benedictus! Nice. Maybe I should keep this, because I I am trying to be, like, a light guy. It's much more thematic. Yeah, and the thing that you don't have in 5M is that you can click on somebody, and you can have this. This small little thing where it's like, oh, at a glance, you can see that he's well-shaven, he dresses like a noble, um, and, like, he has certain rings, and I could add more shit to that. And then when you look at someone else's stuff, like, it's super, super dope. Click on the paper, yeah. Uh, and you have all this, and you have all this, and you have all this. I always look at people's full bio. Yeah, I, I was I was trying to, but I was too enraptured with the scene. Um, so I'd imagine there's like a... Like, can I click on people after the fact? I think so, right? Oh my god, I can. 
This is so dub. Yeah, friendly. Friendly. Casual hero. Friendly now. We're all quite young, I'll tell you that. Other than Maros, of course. Um, but yeah, all this stuff is so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Wait, why can't I move that? Oh, there we go. Ah, I see. Alright. Jesus fucking Christ. You know, when I wrote my character story for uh, my main character in 5M, I wrote in Google Docs, by the way. Let me just pull that up. Uh, which one is it? Should I do Crane? Yeah, we'll do Crane. Uh, drive. I wrote a lot. Uh, so if we go to Jeremy Crane... Ooh, nice. Jeremy Crane. Character sheet and story. And I had, like, I had a, um... I had a whole thing. So if I go over here... Judge Crane? No, 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 no. Not, not that Crane. Uh, it's... Well, you're gonna see it now. He was a cop. Uh, in the Edge Gamer server. So, like, I had a whole fucking story. Um... Where, like, it was actual uh, game stuff. But something that I wanted to do, that I can do here, uh, is if I pull this up. Wait, I should actually have the character sheet in this thing. I don't. Come on, bro. Oh, character sheet. There it is. So I did something cool where I used, like, a D&D &D thing. And, like, I had all of this shit. Um... And, like, I had, like, backgrounds and feats. And then I went really crazy with it. Like, deciding equipment, wealth, all of this. All of this. And, like, going even further, like, rolling for damage. And I had all these injury stuffs. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So, yeah. Uh, like, if I, if I got hit and I went and went to the hospital uh, and it was, like, really, really bad, I would roll a d12. For all of these things. Uh, so like PTSD, gunfire, right? So let me just, let me show you. There we go. Like PTSD, gunfire. So anytime someone would shoot in the game, uh, I would roll a D4 and then I would just stop for like that many seconds. Regardless of the situation. Super, super cool. Super thematic. That's how hardcore I am with the uh, roleplay back in 5M. Um... And we had all this shit, like scars and physical injuries and fear fear of unarmoredness. Um, this was something that I really, really like to do. But yeah, I'll tell you one thing. I appreciate the fuck out of people who write huge stories. It's just like, I can't read it right now. I will read it, but I can't read it right now. Um, but super cool. Super cool. Um, one of the things I actually talked about a while ago was, like, I was curious if, if the role play, like, if, if role play would be different in World of Warcraft if it was over voice. Like, how, like, could we achieve that, for one? God, I have so many, like, special rings. <laughs> like, if we could achieve, like, a Toko Voip type thing in World of Warcraft to where you could actually have a scene where people were talking and if if that would be better or not right because like I, i'm obviously a, a role player who uses voice a lot and i think some people would would like it and a lot of people probably wouldn't i i, I would imagine you're right there be uh where the fuck was i going text makes it better and wow yeah because you don't hear voice and like you make your own voice with it so, like, um, the High Lord, like, sounds like, you know, a, an older man who is, like, a, a knight voice, right? But he might not have that voice. It makes it a part of the world. Yeah, it does. It does. Something I would like to look into, though, is maybe trying to have some kind of AI translator voice thing happening. Because I have a reading disability. Um... I actually have a reading and writing disability, and I think that'd be so cool to, like, actually be able to 
have voices attached to characters and it read it out in that voice. Imagination's a key to WoW RP. They have that for quests? Yes, they do. Um, that's an add-on I haven't actually tried with, but... But, uh, but yeah, stuff like that is, like, a good use of AI. Um... God, I'm really enjoying the rogue, though, I'll tell you that. I have my mask off. Oops. I have my mask off. Alright, we can put our other stuff on. Item rack's so fucking useful. You know, I could pick up a helmet, but why would I do that when this fucking thing looks so good? I am level 32 now. We got, uh, we got training. Damn it. Dude, imagine if that was... That was not intellect. Imagine if that was literally anything else. Fucking druid helmet. Come on. Alright, let's go get some training. Oh, and we got this as well. Um, improve sap, serrated blades, reduce the energy cost of your cheap shot and groat. Ooh, that's kind of important. If we're ganking people. Uh, initiative. That's also useful. Let's just remove the 10. But it's not ambush, though. I don't know. Hmm. What do I need to unlock? 25 points. Man. You gotta do a lot to get pre-med. Maybe I just don't. Maybe we're good. I definitely want improved sap. That's a that's a fact though. This hardcore? No, Lordy. Absolutely not. This is the same server we're both playing on. Um, because you know I have mutilate. What can I do for you? It's right, nice. Gouge, nice. Yeah, this is just an alt that I'm in a roleplay guild. These fuckers brought me in, and now I can't get out. That's it. We're stuck. Uh, what does wound poison do? Have a good one. Uh, coats weapon with poison. Reduce all healing effects. I don't really care about that. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, new gauge, does that automatically move over? It does. Thanks. King's honor, friend. Okay. Yeah, I think I want to get th 3 to 3 improved sap, and then maybe I just don't go pre-med. Maybe we go straight into combat, get 3 to 3, or, well, 5 here, because you want to get Sinister Strike, and then just go down to Assassination Tree. Fuck it, right? Alright, I'll put this stuff in my bank. We don't need this right now. I just got given the extras of the stuffs. I should level up my first aid, though. Dude, so many people target me. I'm just lo I, I, I look at somebody, and I'm always being targeted. You want to know why? Because Zoth is a badass fucking name. Right, I'll put this in the bank later. Let me just check my other stuffs. Uh, who is selling stuff? I don't know if you are. Cause I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna get some food here in a bit. Um, so Oh yeah, I'm in my rest of stuff. You're not even selling anything. Oh my god, you're poor. Three hundred gold? Imagine. Um Okay. When's the next raid day? Is it Tuesday? Let me just check. It's April 23rd. Nice. Alright, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to call it here, actually. I'd like to get some food and, you know, have a thing, but, uh, but yeah, it's getting late. It's getting late. We just had fucking a two-hour roleplay scene in World of Warcraft. Imagine.
I, I haven't really tried roleplay until, like, we dipped our toe in it the other day. And I decided to stream this because we had, like, I, I set up an event kind of thing, right? Uh, which was really fun. Let me show you, uh, actually, like, all the stuff I wrote. <laughs> it's super nerd shit. Uh, we go here, I think. Yeah, so, like, I wrote all this shit uh, for the thing, which is thematic into the what the character is supposed to be, right? He's supposed to be a scout. Uh, it was super cool. Super fun. Um, oh. Why do you do that? Oh, that's why. I see. Um, let me just... No, there we go. There it is. So you can see it all. But, uh, but yeah, it was a really fun event. I appreciate everyone coming out. And uh, until next time... See ya! <laughs>